California was a vast neglected territory of Mexico, only 150,000 natives. After the U.S. acquired this land, the pioneers moved west. A man named James Marshall was setting up his sawmill when he found a small, shiny nugget in the water. This was gold. The thrilling discovery inspired thousands of people to find more of this precious element. California Gold Rush in Chinese by Andrea, Dominic, Joey, Joey and Tim. The news of Marshall's pine spread rapidly. People flooded California to get to the rivers. Thousands of men came to California in search of gold. This, as we know, it was called the California Gold Rush. If one miner were to reach California, they would have three choices. One, traveling 18,000 miles around South America. Two, sail through the narrow isthmus of Panama. Or three, travel across North America. As you would guess, they chose crossing North America. When the miners would find more gold in more streams, like streams flowing through the Sierra Nevada mountains, miners from this time were called the 49ers. About two-thirds of the miners were American. But it wasn't only white men, it was also natives, free slaves, and enslaved African Americans. There were thousands of 49ers in California. Life in the mining camps was wet, hard, dangerous, and dirty. One woman wrote about a violence such as murders, mobs, whippings, a hanging, bloody death, fearful accidents, and a fatal duel. Life was also hard due to exhaustion, poor food, and diseases. High prices needed to be paid for basic supplies, and finding gold was brutally difficult. They stood in icy cold water where they looked for gold under mud and sand just to find small amounts of gold. But not all is bad. Gamblers would come into the camps and swindle the miners. Some even became rich. But people were cheated on as well. Mostly it was to free the slaves. The masters would make them work to find gold. They were told they would be free, but after they worked, they would get robbed by their masters. White men weren't the only ones to get rich. The Chinese were also involved in the gold rush. Gam San, the gold mountains, is what they called California. By 1852, more than 20,000 Chinese men came to California and to start a new life. Find gold and get rich. They thought un that Mer America would be a paradise, but that thought soon came to an end. The men of California were, was not as grateful as a foreign move of China. They asked the government to drive the Chinese out. So the government made them pay taxes or leave. This the Chinese did not like, but they stayed anyways paying the taxes. But when they can't pay, they were forced to leave or at least tried to be forced. When hope was lost, they did leave. Although they didn't get rich, they opened restaurants and they were well in payment. This is how some of them got rich. This event was a big change for the U.S. The 49ers had flooded California and changed it for life. 250,000 people all over the state that came and decided to stay there and build a settlement. Although the gold rush was painful, the 49ers finally rested and built their life. The Chinese as well with their yummy restaurants chose to stay, making their settlements in California, also adding to the population. California was basically already home for a lot of people and basically its own state. This is the California gold rush.